Hello everyone! We are back with episode 18 of Kitty Play Song and Rampa. And if you guys remember in the last episode, uh, Celeste is apparently hurt by who knows what. Um, but yeah, she's kind of beaten up right now. <sighs> Makoto! <laughs> Sorry. Makoto! C Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. Well, yeah, you kind of always are. I mean, ahem, I got attacked. Attacked by who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground. On the ground there. This 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 whole thing right here. Okay. What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. It says Justice Hammer. Well, there's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer one. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. Makoto, Celeste! Okay. I found Sakura! What? C Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A uh, strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway... That is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was so obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... Mm -hmm. And that's when you were attacked. <sighs> it happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness. Which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill of survival. Anyway, the important thing is that we, got, we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could be a serious problem. <laughs> Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. H hifumi After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean, Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste. Did anything in particular stand out about the strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well... Rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would be... would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. 
dun 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 Huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened- oh! And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad, we have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. But he must be down there, right? The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you two! What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You gotta be kidding! Nope, nope, sure haven't! Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together! <laughs> me and Togami! No, you're just stalking me. <laughs> anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hey, Fumi! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm. Oh. Did you hear something? Mm. Maybe. <sighs> I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go! We run to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we open the door to the library... <laughs> it hurts! It hurts! We found Hifumi seriously injured. Uh, are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> It's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> Robo Justice. Er, that's what I decided to call him just now. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that that guy was Robo Justice. <laughs> This robo-justice you are referring to, this... is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> oh my god! I love how Togami's just like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> hmm. This is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Mm, this is unforgivable! Yeah, that's him, I'm sure of it. Robo-justice! It can't be! Robo-justice, huh? Damn! 
this just keeps getting stranger. You're telling me. And look, another hammer. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is... Justice Hammer 2? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. <laughs> he attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> I'm not okay! Look at all this blood! Yeah, we see the blood. Good lord. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? Sakura, I love you, but I don't think protein would work on this matter. But I do love you. <laughs> for trying. I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> Why does he have to show up now? It's him! <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting! What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? Uh, uh, okay, bye. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. <laughs> Freaking genocide just sitting there like, eh. How you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at ya? Um. I I'm okay. I think it's not bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then... Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose... Y yeah good idea. Well, then... The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So, in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed at around 7 o'clock this morning. Wow. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack, down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Let me guess where Toka was! <laughs> well, that, uh, that explains where she was. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. <laughs> Why do you know that? Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so that means Byakuya and Toka were together at the time. Meaning they also have alibis. Then the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are... The only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but... I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. H hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Nifumi were attacked, so... Hm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words... 
I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible! What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on fighting the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. Sh she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. What to do? What to do? <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? <laughs> Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor then? You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot towards the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split, let's split up and corner him. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Ooh. Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second. Anything, it doesn't matter. So then... Then is... Ha! Okay. <laughs> ha or don't yell or whatever you want. Just yell in that loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. Good lord. Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya. Oh, we spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Okay. So... Let's go look for that suspicious individual. Shall we? Oh, it probably isn't there because we were just there. Um, let's go this way. Towards the green lights. In the classroom, I guess. I don't know. Reality is everything. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Got nothing here. <laughs> oh, well, that strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Everyone. Over here, everyone! Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Just a second. Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Oh. I saw him! The strange costumed man! He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go! <laughs> what the heck? What is it now? Uh-oh. She's gonna change back. Huh? Huh? Whoa, it's really true! But that doesn't matter right now! Oh, snap. Huh? What, what was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi! He's in the nurse's office! This is bad! Come on, we have to go back! What? 
What about the suspect? We've gone through all this trouble to capture him, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split up into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then... <sighs> Very well then. Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will lead the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Byakuya. So then... We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. Just a second. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Okay. Step on it. <laughs> we stormed into the nurse's office, and what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. Or in this case, light pink. Or bright pink. Whatever. Because, yeah. Duh. <laughs> the, the blood is not crimson. It's it's bright pink. So, I had to say bright pink. And, well, Makoto said crimson. But, yeah, anyways, okay. Everything was covered in red. Bright pink. But, yeah. We'll go with that. And in the center of all this red was... Hifumi! Sorry, that sounded kind of... Ah! It, it looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. M murdered You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the? That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It must mean he fooled me. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. The hammer, right? Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Yep, it's as clear as day. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer... There can be... <clears throat> there can be no doubt. The suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. Yeah, exactly. How could he get from there to here? And I doubt he has magic powers. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they like teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now we have to tell the others. Y you're right. So then... Then shall we go? <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. <laughs> Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. S sorry, I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kinda... This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay then, I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but... I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. I 
everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is why everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Yeah, and somehow ended in the nurse's office. I don't know, are there two of them? He ran off, going further down the hallway. I mean, I know the reality of everything, but like, I'm gonna tell you guys, because it spoils. So, way into the back of the hallway and ended in the nurse's office? I mean, like, come on, that's impossible. Okay. So, let's see. So what, towards the art room? Or like, back that way? I forget. I'll go into the art room for now, and then go back down there. Oh, sorry. Too close to the mic. <laughs> okay. Oh, look! Hammers are missing. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they used them for making sculptures. Oh, I thought I was going to mention that some were missing. Okay, let's go down to the physics lab. And check there, because there's nothing here. A dirt, I knew that. Oh my god, work you stupid. We have to hurry now. To find that suspicious individual. Okay. Do run like the wind, Makoto. Run like your life depended on it, because it kind of does. Oh my God! Open sesame, stupid door. Okay, so is this a teleportation device, and he ended up from here to the nurse's office? Cause like, I'm kidding. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence... Is it coming from over there in the back? And I know what he's gonna find. I left through the doorway, and when I did, I found... Another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Yeah. Rest in peace, Taka. <laughs> there, in a pool of his own blood, and look, his hair is back to black. Sob. Was Taka dead? Oh well, he can be with Mondo now. Hifumi's body, discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body, discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. The true nightmare, is this reality? The reality I have to face every day? But still... Why is this happening? <laughs> Dear Lord, poor guys. Okay. And another hammer. Another hammer? Now it's just his hammer 4, and it's even bigger than before! Is that suspicious individual responsi responsible for killing Taka too? Look at poor Taka! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Taka. Damn it, why did this happen? Uh, 
Uh, hi, Toko. I guess you fainted at the sight of him. T Toko? Don't tell me. Toko, too? <laughs> Relax. She just passed out when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We've tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like you said. I should just leave her alone for now. Yeah, she's just fainted. But why is it just as Hammer 4? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1. Then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer 2. But this time it was Justice Hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Uh, yeah, about that. Ah. Wow. What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead too. What? Hey! Hifumi's been killed? <coughs> y yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Damn. Of course. Come on! So Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Ooh. Ah! Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Uh, something has uh, come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Hifumi is dead, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? Uh, it has disappeared. Disappeared? <laughs> Hifumi's body has disappeared. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey. Everyone, back to the nurse's office. Oh my god, click. Okay. I don't know why with this game my mouse is stupid. Or the keys. This game lags now. I don't, I don't know. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. That's not good. I reached the nurse's office, completely out of breath. But yeah, it really is gone. I couldn't believe my eyes. Kifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were only gone for like a minute, and then we got back. Indeed. This must be the work of the culprit. This must have come and carried... They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Oh. We're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys did. Those guys died. Yeah. Whatever you say, Celeste. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First there was two mur first there were two murders and now one of the bodies has been taken? This is unnatural. Huh? H hold on. What do you mean two murders? Ina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It, it can't be! Taka too? It can't be! It can't be! No! No! Hina. Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us! They're gonna kill all of us! <laughs> then who might the next target be? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. You left her at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out, and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious? Damn. Wait, so you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> that annoying little... 
Wow, Togami, you are such a turd. God damn. That annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Bastard. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Every everyone, stop fighting. Right now, we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Byakia, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <coughs> Doing her voice really kills me. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. <coughs> we shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Well, Toko's still here, but something disappeared. Toko! Thank God you're okay, but right away I noticed there was something very different here. Yeah! It was gone. Taka's body should have been right here. Had disappeared. This is... This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. Surprisingly to say. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? Well, what? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us! Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Uh, um... When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. <laughs> and now this time, you call- And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. But hold on a second! Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. You seem very adamant, adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love? But that's not it at all! That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than Hiro. Hmm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... I need ya! Need ya without a second thought! Need ya grind your tree into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish like shrimp or crabs? Monokuma, we don't care about your random lessons. O okay, bye. <laughs> Indeed. Let's see. So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. <laughs> I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies? Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hero. But he my baby! But is he the real killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? Huh? Uh, oh, no, it's nothing. Ugh. 
Whatever. We need to find those bodies. Or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Very well. Then let us split up and start... And... Bleh. I'm stumbling here. Then let us split up and begin searching. But... But... but <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... Tina. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> no need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Bianchi left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. So, we have to find those bodies. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, since I know where they are, I'm just gonna head right to it. Where could two dead bodies have disappeared to? Huh? The door must be locked. Yeah, who who locked the door? Damn. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Um I don't know. Well then, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'll, um, head to the second floor, maybe? I don't know. Because there's nothing else up here. Well, there's classrooms, but I doubt they'd be there. I doubt there's anything there. I mean, I know where stuff is. So, like, where are the stairs? God, I miss... I lose the stairs easily. Okay. They're back this way. Oh, wait, the rec room. There, there's nothing else in there, though. Celeste got attacked there. That was about it. Okay, so... Stop running into walls! Oh, my God! Makoto, pay attention! Oh, okay. A bird will go down this floor first. Okay... Sorry, I'm dumb. Should I go back in the rec room? I mean, I, I could to kill time. Oh my god, click the door. Makoto, you stupid. Click the door. And there's nothing else here. Okay. Except for the hammer, which we already saw. I mean, duh. So what? The class? I don't know. Oh wait, maybe I should go back and look at the uh, uh, physics lab again. Yeah, I, sh I should go back there. Because duh, there was stuff I wanted to look at. Her dirt. I'm stupid. Yay. Could you not with the lagging? Because like, oh my god. Okay, we forgot to examine this. Taka's entire body has disappeared, leaving behind nothing but a blood stain. This is a tarp. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Nothing worth thinking about too much. Oh, goody, a coin. Dang, I spent that many? Well, I guess I did. Oh, I, I thought I clicked 
I'm doing Toko! Oh, whatever. I don't know. There we go. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood. I don't think we have to worry about anyone else dying, so I'll just leave her alone for now. Oh, hello, Celeste. My coattail. Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean? Indeed. I found them. Hifumi and Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository. We were just there. Like, there. Well, I mean, I told you I knew where they were. Oh wait, what? What am I doing? Okay. Run! Run like you like to- Okay, I'm gonna not do that anymore, I'm sorry. If that gets annoying, I apologize. Oh my god, just go in the damn art room. <sighs> I just can't. Are the bodies here somewhere? Hey, dirt face. I have to wonder where they could have been hidden. Yeah, you said the repository, you dumb butt. Up ahead is the repository. The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked now. Then I have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw... <laughs> Togami's face! It's so unfazed. Y yeah, they're both there. I mean, duh. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then, I heard the announcement for the second time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use, however... Yeah, we, we get it, Ma uh, Monokuma. Mm. And so, here we are! The Monokuma file! Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file! <laughs> I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right! Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Gee, thanks. Now, make sure to investigate with all of your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later. Okay, see ya later. Hmm. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Hold on. How can you be so, so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible. Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! <laughs> awful! This is just too awful! Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Ifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Why? Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some mold of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. Oh, oh, look at that! <laughs> this wasn't... She's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi! Wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's peak. Come on, you've got to wake up! I remember everything. 
before I met you all. I met you all. His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Wow, Biakia, you are such a turd face. Oh, the light is reaching out to me. Hey, Umi, who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Yes. His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute, undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. <laughs> this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said, Yasuhiro, right? <laughs> Yasuhiro Hagakure. That is the only person he could have been referring to. No, it's not Hiro! And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people, and even killing Taka and Hifumi, and then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? No. If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. First, I better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There's something else that's bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Yeah, Kyoko. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Nifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? Why does he have to breathe like that? Good lord. An accomplice! What are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Don't be rude! I'm here to answer your question! What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial! Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. 
So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can have, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that! It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys! I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one blocking can graduate, an accomplice gets nothing! So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who that one blackened is that did the killing, right? Just like normal? Well... Okay, okay. Let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... Extreme. The one true blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened? So just one person. Well now... That's enough for explainifying! Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the Blackened. Good luck to all the contestants! So there can only be one Blackened, and the complex wouldn't benefit. But I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Yeah, and she's too smart to be an accomplice for anything, so... I mean, for a murder. Hmm. You may be right. That's true then. Kyoko, where are you? However... As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. Oh, you shut up, Celeste. Sorry. But yeah. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um... Persuade. Whatever. Okay. You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect, just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! <laughs> and she's back! Well, I'm offended! You, when did you? I've been looking all over for you, Master! When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found! Uh, poor Dogami. Actually, no, not poor Dogami. He deserves this. You anyway, you there, swimmer girl. Huh? Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a you are a serial killer, and you kill dudes. What? So what? I'm like a special guest subject every time. I have an alibi now. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Ifumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Exactly. So she didn't do it. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't <laughs> I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing! What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then... Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? No. But... Oh my god, work. Huh, I hate this... Game wagging. Okay. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. I'm with you, Makoto. And not because I'm biased, but because, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to end this episode here. This was one heck of a ride, wasn't it? Or one hell of a ride. Like I said, this chapter is a good one, in my opinion. So, yeah, anyways, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was fun recording this one because of all the stuff that happened. 
and in the next one we will do the investigation and part of the trial so look forward to that take care